Okay, looking at speed versus position. I've had a few um, statements and comments and heard a few people talking about the concerned about the speed at which opponents play and they're losing against people who are moving really fast but uh, their rating is low but they're moving really fast and they're actually beating them in these fast games and I've constantly said it's about your position you're not correcting your position properly I'm going to capture this bishop here uh, because we can catch it for free let's just bring the bishop here now nice position diagonal towards the the rook the quick and dirty tactics yes you have to be mindful of them first 10 to 13 moves and if the opponent hasn't got the quick and dirty tactic off then it's your place then to jump in with your end game opening with good position play solid solid position play either removing pieces from the board strategically or smothering the king area so as you can see we've frauded the attempts of the from the opponent at coming for the quick and dirty tactics captured two minor pieces during that process now the opponent has slowed down once you've got the opponent slowed down something you know the speed merchant slowed down sometimes you then you're onto a winner because they're trying to then sort out positional play but you can't learn positional play if you're not trained in positional play if you've not practiced it it's very difficult to suddenly change the way that you play so case in point in this this opponent has got single pieces attacking the areas and it's attacking the knight they're used to attacking pieces you know our smaller piece is going to attack a higher piece we're going to take our time and relax and chill so the queen has to go away because it's got the pressure on the bishop here but it's a single attack his poor knight is stuck in the back his bishop is blunted by his own pawn his rook is stuck in the corner this is what we mean by a positional play so now the bit the queen has moved we could look for an exchange or we could attack the queen but he's wanting to get this bishop so there are a few things we could potentially try one of them being the pawn smaller piece attacking a higher piece yet again protecting the knight at the same time So it's the smallest of details, the smallest of differences between the end game opening and quick and dirty tactics. Queen's gone right back. Conscious I don't want to lose out on time or anything like that. I'm actually going to make use of this, actually. Let's take this pawn, in fact, no. Let's go here and attack the knight. He'll have to open up this square on his own accord with this pawn. And then just put this bishop onto their rook. Mindful the queen is looking for access down onto this point here. So the rooks come down. Uh, we can defend or we can move. Bring the bishop back here, enticing the pawn to push down. Or just bring it here. Defending the pawn. Here. Here. Here we'll do. So time is running out. We're on 126. They're on 54 at the moment. Now they have completely, they've almost gone to a standstill. So I'd say to anyone who is fearful of the speedy merchants, so he's gonna have central control in the middle there. His rook doesn't have any protection on it at the moment. So if we bring the rook here, and if the pawn does take, we get the rook for free. In fact, you know, I've missed an opportunity. I am human. Bishop could have taken that rook ages ago. Yeah, so I was so focused on development. Ah, I can still take it anyway. So let's grab here and that works out quite nicely for us now so we can really almost do anything that we want with this game let's go here with the knight and it's coming down for the quick and dirty tactic okay so we can easily defend by just moving the queen king it's still coming down for it anyway but it, it doesn't have any traction there's nothing left for it so because we were aware of that situation it's easily defendable and then obviously the bishop is coming here with a check on his king x-raying through to the rook and then the rook disappears and he's not wanting any of that so we might as well just grab here 
it's got six seconds left position over speed you have to have that confidence to be able to see and they've timed out excellent yeah to be able to see what it is that the opponent is attempting to try and do and then look at the pieces that are left behind out of the majority of games that i've played where i'm playing a speed person a really fast person i can guarantee you there will be a piece that they have that is unsupported case like in this game here let's have a look there'll be a piece that is unsupported here let's come down with the knight looking for the pattern of attacking the king gary maybe attacking the bishop but this bishop here is unsupported so it can be taken off the board it's the smallest of details but it's the timing you have to really spot it instantly against a quick and dirty tactics player so somebody moving really quick now see this opportunity that i missed here because the rook came down because i've got my stealth bishop in there it's that stealthy that i didn't even remember to remember that it was a stealth bishop so it's being able to spot those types of things they're moving quick they tend to put themselves in weaker areas it's just that we don't spot them all the time because with that panic that they're moving really fast but you take that moment to have a look then you realize well he's left that one on pre he's left that one on pre i can take all sorts of stuff here yeah look how many moves it took for me to remember that i could have taken that rook and now i took it so always remember somebody moving fast they've got weaknesses behind they've left gaping holes they've left gaps if it looks like they have covered everything off they haven't they're moving too fast to cover everything off trust me okay five minute zero game let's practice the end game opening opponents moving very fast so how do we deal with speed merchants position 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 So have a look for a decent position on the board. Let's grab this queen. He's got a pawn that's going to come more central. And again, improve the position by tempting the pawn to come down, advancing the pawn even more. Bring the bishop to the center. So now they've got advanced pawns, but no pieces developed. It's looking to attack our undefended pawn here and he's continuing the attack if we don't attack it the pawn takes we can take back we can develop our pieces out it's blocking our knight's development at the moment but do we really mind that let's just bring our bishop here developing and blocking at the same time he does continue with the attack so we'll attack back so speed is not improving their position they're looking at simple attacks just to take pieces off the board which is exactly one of the concepts that we work on which is simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically there's the difference so he's attacking again he's putting a check on because he believes that that's yep so that's the idea it's whether or not it improves their position that is the key thing I'm going to develop the knight so that we may be going castle pushes the pawn so we push simply here he's got an advanced pawn but the pawn is not doing anything until such time as it gets supported so we castle he's castled into the war zone so we're going to develop our knight and if you look at the pawn structure the opponent's got it looks nice but positionally it's not going to have enough strength i don't think to be able to so this knight is doing the dance maybe potentially coming and attacking this pawn here maybe supporting this pawn i don't know what else it's actually thinking it's doing so we could take his rook but ownership of the file is key for us so i'm actually going to push onto his knight because if we bring up oops go oh my god i was doing a demonstration got mouth slip or what um so if we move this rook here then his knight couldn't take our pawn that's what i was going to say so he's actually moved the knight now so his knight potentially can move here can move there can move there he's going to push this pawn down to block which would be cause a bit of an annoyance but not for too long I'm going to bring is it my go 
Oh, it's there, go. Craggy. So his rook now has come down, he's attacking this pawn here. So that's changed the shape of the situation. So we're going to push onto his knight in the meantime. Behind his knight is the rook, his rook hasn't got any protection on it. So if he does move his knight, we can take the rook. His knight can't put a check on our king, I don't think, I can't see that. If he continues with his rook attacking the pawn, then the pawn takes the knight. So we take the knight as we're speaking. So obviously maybe he's going to go for a trade with the rook. He's going for a trade with the rook. Um, now the situation goes something like this. Our rook takes, maybe his rook takes, then he's on our knight. Our rook takes and his pawn takes. But either way, we were a minor piece up, so I think we can just simply take now. So he's on our knight now, we can defend with the pawn. Where's his rook looking to go? Can't really come here to attack our pawn here. He wants this pawn to get advanced. He also wants this pass pawn to come. There's nothing else that really can touch our knight, so I think we can go and defend the knight. So you have to look carefully and then it's probably going to bring his rook down one to actually try and support this pawn coming down whereas our knight can take if it pushes so this pawn will come down to support so we need to be mindful of that situation so we could need to bring the rook here it brings this pawn to support we can now look to try and disturb this pawn on the back the back of the snake so he has, he's got a nice rhythm with these two linked pawns here, but we're trying to establish good control. Knight could come here to block, but for now, let's just see if we can manage these pawns with the rook and the pawn at the moment. So what else is the rook going to try and do? He's probably going to try and get his king involved then, maybe because the rook is just going to stay there um, looking after this pawn. Don't think the rook has any clear direction in terms of attacking us it's got a, it could um, push his pawn down to attack <laughs> just obviously to attack this pawn because if our knight takes but we don't need to rush i don't think because he's looking to push this pawn and our rook can come here so if we push this pawn up if his pawn takes we can take if he pushes his pawn down then we can come across here with our rook so I'm going to push the pawn and see how it works out. I think he's going to be chomping at the bit just to push this pawn down because it's a highly advanced pawn. We could have taken them, taken it with the knight, but uh, he's got a pawn majority over here, and if he works that right, yeah. So he's doing he's doing everything as we said. So our rook can sit here quite nicely because I don't think the rook can contest this situation, unless of course I am missing something as usual. Oh, what's this all about? I don't think I am missing anything because the rook can take the pawn, so I'm not sure what that move was. So his rook's going to either, either come in round the back here, for the, oh, and they've resigned. Okay, so that's the idea about working against a speed merchant um, using the, the answer process, end game opening, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. And it's highlighted the, the finest of differences between um, quick and dirty tactics type thing or fast moving players who look like they're actually using the process of the answer. But because it's not a full process that they're working, it's little bits here and there, it doesn't gel together and the pieces don't tend to work together as good as using the answer concept. Okay, let's get some practicing. Okay, develop the knight. Just looking to attack our knight. Let's uh, block that off. It's very active. We could just open our dark square bishop. Let's attack his bishop. not playing ball let's uh, castle that works for us uh, that works as well but well this works better I'm 
maybe a smaller piece attacking the higher piece something's my mouse is locked there we go Crack. left button just stuck so it's moved back it's an interesting one let's just put pressure on the knight and the queen it's tucking if we brought it back here with pawn pushes down bishop comes here we don't have any space to really cause as much trouble let's just bring the bishop here well, it's looking for some static if we did take the knight bishop takes pawn pushes onto the bishop bishop goes back bishop takes the bishop um, it's opened up a whole heap of stuff around his king interesting let's i'm going to go with the pawn push first unless of course he opens our area first <laughs> uh, i'm going to take with attack on the queen yeah i think the move order was wrong i should have taken first like i said with the bishop on the knight but we shall see if we're in a bad position after all of that anyway so we'll capture and the bishop captures so how do we want to play it what's the 4 one, one? let's come here get the rook involved bring the bishop back protecting the knight simple is as simple does I suppose although yeah yeah that works he's trying to squeeze his queen in already into the party let's go there preparation is key so it might have worked in our favour I think I don't think it was that bad and takes and now he's got like a potential drawn position i don't think it, it could be if he works it out right but i don't think we're going to allow that it looks good for them on paper let's go here attacking the queen goes here puts a check on we escape around the side or do we do we bother bishop could come here but the pawn drops if the pawn drops rook takes rook takes bishop can't take back so let's um continue as is the fearful of our knight getting involved if we get the knight in there that'll set the cat amongst the pigeon Ooh. rook attacking again it's got no more checks on us we get we get this pawn at the back let's attack the queen again so we were talking about our knight move getting into the party to cause trouble the opponent had the same sort of thought process I suppose maybe they're going queenside castling or something but that may have cost them tempo in terms of pressure because the queen can't do it by itself and it doesn't have any other pieces to help with his attack so uh, this could be the time where we start condensing their queen and if he doesn't escape then we will trap it it's, oh, it's looking and feeling good let's go here with the rook drops down for a check on the king yeah all pretty straightforward stuff if the bishop comes here he takes the rook so just bring the rook here and we have got we have got them and they don't realize it <gasps> okay let's go we have the magic move we have the magic he has to bring his queen back to support and his pawn can't take it back checkmate that's how you deal with speed that's how you deal with simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board sorry that's how you deal with quick and dirty tactics as we saw in this particular game Okay, 
okay so it came through and in fact i think we offered this to the opponent really the move order we i think we did slightly wrong i think the bishop taking the knight might have felt a bit better for us yeah so then we decided on pushing on rather than taking the knight computer suggests taking yeah okay but at this stage here it's saying it prefer well it preferred taking the knight there we brought the bishop back and then attacking at this point here we thought mm, well it could open up we wanted to look to open up their area but they took the chance and opened up our king area but then we captured but as you can see the gauge bar showing that we're in a not a bad sort of situation although we didn't take this option of taking this pawn here so it's probably going to dip so we captured bishop captured and the king move was not liked bringing the rook across let me see my brain didn't work like that oh was that so that the bishop could get involved if you bring the rook here why would the queen go there when the queen is looking this is what the opponent did isn't it they did that oh it's looking for this i don't think i would have spotted that i would have thought it was probably doing something like this to prevent but that's not good because it's got a two on one hasn't it interesting times right okay so we're captured captured and the king move is frowned upon have to remember that really king move is frowned upon right okay brings the queen down felt okay oh you know i was going to open up the pieces to protect the king and then we brought the bishop here protecting the knight captured and so this queen move was wrong and we did say that there's an element of being able to cap you know trap the queen and they actually gave us a better position on the board so at this stage here yeah it's um, this rook move was wrong it looks like yeah but it's for the opponent to capitalize just because they're winning material doesn't mean that their position on the board is better and we've always said that you know you can have as many pieces on the board as you want but if they're not in the right places then they're pretty useless so yeah the knight coming in white is winning here at the minute so then we took the opportunity to take here and it's saying the queen could have taken a rook yeah all sorts of stuff could have happened but the opponent didn't see it so and that's when we go for the checkmate smallest of details our way was the answer process which can take longer you know you're, you're wearing down your opponent and the opponent's way was like an attempt at the quick and dirty type of um, tactic but not with any real support and as you saw with the evaluation um, they had ample opportunities to deliver the attack process towards the king but it involved getting other pieces involved in the game and the opponent didn't quite do that so that was an interesting game okay quick five minute game Let's see if we can practice the answer let's develop the knight bishop nice and steady castle king safety so playing as black we we appear to have beaten the opponent to the punch in terms of king safety so that's an important tempo to win now let's bring them he's now opening up his king side there so it doesn't look like he's really interested in uh, king side castling not with the state of them pawn structures I'm going to move the king across and I'm going to bring the knight down yeah, feeling fairly comfortable with that bring the bishop here he's got a nice diagonal towards the king it's moving really quick actually am i missing something uh, do, 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 develop the knight it's wanting to open up this dark square let's push on to the knight here so he wanting to take the bishop so he's got a pawn here because his knight will take does it he's not taken is that a missed opportunity 
going to just push here try to put advantage now towards the king area our pieces are facing this area our opponent's pieces are the opposite side of their king so in essence their king is really all alone apart from the rook I suppose it's got the knight and the bishop type situation um, what's going to take with the bishop I think yeah I think probably best taken with the bishop because he does have the bishop that can come here in the first instance moving the queen so he can go queenside castle his queen's hitting nice brick wall there his bishop's hitting a brick wall his knight's hitting a brick wall of sorts so it's not really functional going to attack the bishop reason being if the pawn takes eventually then we can take the rook for free I think maybe I move too quick then bishop takes oh no that's wrong <laughs> but right at the same time because <laughs> we've got space here to attack the king <laughs> right so now I need to wear fashion something I need to go here his king is um, looking very fretful I'm going to attack the bishop take the bishop uh, just get the rook into a square that feels fairly favourable this king's going to be castling all nice and safe in this little hood here just bring this rook here then his king goes there, he's got two pieces on that square uh, da, 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 da. he is plus one but it looks like he's got more pieces than me it's because of the bishop but we've taken pawns haven't we go here see if we can do a triple triple oh no we can't we can't because he's got the knight there could look to get the queen off the board let's just bring this here try and get pieces into the game his uh, king is getting involved uh, da, 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 da. we'll bring that He takes it's got to be good for us no he's not taking uh, da, da, da. put the pressure onto the queen something like that and also the rook as well so I think his knight is going to move he'll move back there won't it? for some type of equal exchange of course I don't have to do any of that because I'll get surprised what So it's not too bad, yeah. Um, we went for it. We attacked the king area, um, made a slight error, but that error seemed to actually give us a better advantage with our queen being able to take the pawn and put pressure on the king. So there must have been some sort of pattern type thing that I saw by doing that type of exchange. So it all's well that ends well. It's not ended yet, but it's feeling good. opponent's gone into a deep thing it does look a bit complicated like I said I don't really know what he's going to do he could take could take the pawn here queen takes we do have the knight protecting this square so we might be able to save ourselves moves the queen so the knight takes I, 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 I didn't even put any thought into it but because we were on two higher pieces I thought it was better to take than not so the knight's going to move because the rook is on the queen so the knight maybe takes the pawn but the queen can take but the knight's protecting the rook here rook's protecting the rook where's his king if his knight moves the queen can come here and put a check on his king so all those calculations are to remind myself of the fact that at the end of it all my queen can come here or I can do that straight away again I'm left mouse is um, sticking I think, I think I keep hitting it on the wire I have to move it away from there so the time is running down 
knight moves rook's got a check on the queen queen comes here with a check on their king is that checkmate no it's not because he comes here but then we push here then he comes there so it's on the dark square here i've blocked my queen so my queen cat he's blocked his king he's blocked his king so if his knight does move then we've got we're quids in uh, but this is a horse of a different colour because we didn't put that in the calculation at all. We expected the knight to move. If the queen took his rook, took his rook, no. If the knight takes this pawn here, attacking their queen, only piece that can take it is the king, so the king's having to come back into the fight. Then our queen can put a check on his king. His king doesn't really have anywhere to go. I think that's a start for 10. I've taken this pawn. Queen come oh damn the queen can take the queen duh oh man I should have calculated a bit better than that that's a waste that was a beautiful position that we had there I am sure it could have been done better damn oh he's moved the king he's moved the king oh that might be a saving grace might it I'm not moving fast this time unless of course it's ooh, Queen taking the pawn here puts a check on the king. I might as well just keep the checks going while we can. This can go here. His knight can come and block though, can't he? Then we can take the rook. So rook can come here, knight takes, rook takes. Ooh, there could be some sort of checkmate, you know. If the rook ends up being here. Yeah, so if I bring this rook down with a check on the king, magic could he'll just lose his queen, won't he? Let's try that because his queen will have to come down and defend. Oh, every time I say something, is he does total opposite to anything I'm saying. Ah, oh, dear me, right? Okay, so. Put a two on one ish. Oh god, we're on 30 odd seconds each. Oh, well, yeah, okay, go there. Let's catch it. Bishop, what's the bishop doing? What's that all about? Attack the queen. 28 seconds. this has not turned out anyway like what I thought it would do there's pressure on the king that's fine so we're, we're practicing that just bring this here two on one queen comes down protects <laughs> what's going on I can't take back okay let's go here six seconds they've got five four three two one oh he's still playing let's go here and let's grab and zero yes we won on time okay we never said the answer was pretty okay three minute game let's push through the center capture and capture all opponents play nice and simplified so this should be pretty straightforward for us um, let's develop the knight protecting the palm and let's attack the bishop knights on the bishops could take with the pawn take with the bishop pushes his pawn down and we could do we could attack a higher piece which is the rook and the rook's gone to the corner could be brave and take here his rook takes then we're bouncing backwards and forwards but let's just bring the bishop back momentarily plus one out of that exchange Bishops come down attacking thin air, so we can actually take this bishop. And the queen is looking to do what exactly? Let's castle. Bishop's targeting here, the rook is protecting there, so he's probably going queenside castling, but the queen is preventing that at the minute. So I'm surprised they haven't gone for a queen exchange. So I'm going to put pressure onto the bishop, pawn drops, 
bishop then attacks the rook queen is not interested in any of that situation what are they trying to do going to capture king comes offline it's on a dark square put a check on with the king queen king is a bit airy could put a two on one here queen on this pawn it's a bit dangerous that though because the bishop takes then basically I'm pinning myself to the rook aren't I but if we take and he doesn't do anything the rook our queen can come here our queen can come here anyway with a check I suppose takes itself offline and we can then take the rook with a check and then take the pawn So this is looking a little bit devastating actually and we're on a white square so let's just bring the queen to safety looking to touch this square here with a little bit of a check get the rooks involved in the game let's bring the rook attacking this pawn it's unprotected it's uh, protected now still white square bishop really doesn't have any let's put a check and attack the queen so let's get the queen off the board okay so we'll capture the queen and they've resigned not a three minute game just develop the knight push through the center capture the center attack the king check capture Castle, King Safety. Uh, pin. Develop the knight. And before we do that, let's just bring the bishop back. Attack the center pawn. Capture. Oops, a dizzy. Support. Pawn's a little bit airy, but we'll capture this bishop in the meantime. And let's attack this pawn, it's got no protection. Queen's doing a lot of work. Could move this knight now, move it to where? Interesting times. Let's uh, move the queen here. It's a big move. It's a bold move. Let's go here with the queen. Move there dead quick with the rook, but that might have been a mistake. Let's go here. Positionally, rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, so that is a kind of error. Yep, expected. Just want to make sure that we're building this picture just right for us. Let's go here. Doubling up again. That is an error. In our in our brain, that's an error. So we're going here. Knight now attacking the rook. We're savoring these moments of errors from the opponent so that we can take stock of what we mean by an error. Let's go here with the knight. And again, massive, massive, huge errors coming off all over the place. What we want to do is we want to strengthen up this error situation. I'm going to go here again. And he's got fed up of the um, error process. I'm going to capture with a check on the king first. And black resigned wonder why they resigned I don't know if it was that devastating let's have a look yeah we're we're in advantage so I felt there was errors going off on there there was weaknesses timing wise we're gonna be an advantage because 
I suppose if he moves his bishop now or he actually takes our rook yeah so who's going is it he's in check sorry so he has to do something so if he does take then we get this bishop here so we're up the exchange in, in a sense so that was the erroneous nature of having a rook in the center of the board it doesn't have a place there especially if the rooks aren't working together so we've got a bit of an advantage going on Game 7 reduced it down to 3 minute 0 increment Game eight. <clears throat> Excuse me.
that move order was wrong. I would have lost my bishop if they played that right, because his king could have just come back for the knight. Eek. But they didn't see it, so... Can't beat yourself up over it. left the game I don't know why though but just about to lose the rook maybe just move the rook game nine cracky ten games is a lot of games uh,
Ish. Tenth and final game. Let's see if we can really. Whoa! It's got a speed merchant. I'll talk in this last one. This guy's moving really fast, so they're gonna make a mistake. Yes, they're gonna make a mistake. Just bring this back here. Then they're gonna slow down a little bit when they've realised that they've made a mistake. But it's too late. Then let's grab this. Go here and pin this knight to the king we could take the knight but he's still got the pin on so we might as well move the king Whoa -ho -ho. let's take it because we'll get trapped move the king off of the dark square get the knight developed push this pawn up get it blocked so there's nothing magical that they're doing at the minute attack the bishop where's he going king's protecting this pawn get the rook involved get the knight again maybe could come here actually yep interesting position let's attack the bishop get the knight in the, into a decent position could take the bishop you know could take the bishop okay so let's uh, go this way get, get a check on the king speed don't get you position you see so this is what we've got to how do we work this? Night, 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 night. Pawns, 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 pawns. Rook, rook, rook. Pawns. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go here. So let's go there. The momentary majority. <laughs> well, we've got the speed merchant thinking. one of the key things that we do mention in our uh, oh this is nice let me see can I make it work let's go here with the check and get the bishop he gets the knight with the check don't really want to give up ownership of the file and he thinks he's clever coming around here pushing this pawn but for now let's just go here position Position, position, position. It's key. Uh, let's grab. Yep, just to keep it simple. Let's go here. Let's take with a check. Yep, speed means nothing to me, dude. Let's go here. Let's grab with a check. And grab again with a check. There we go. Oh, he's coming around the back door, dude. But that's okay. It's going to fly to this side now again that is okay because we can move here move there you can get a pawn but position not good for him check right let's finish this it's coming down for my king no he's not let's push push and let's go here and he's just going to keep going up and down now because he can I might give these pawns up actually oh interesting interesting time so if he takes things takes let's go there and what's the deal with that looks like he's giving me an escape route Position over speed works every time. Obviously, you have to train to do it because moving, we still have to move at a bit of a pace. Is he trapping my king? It's got my rook, but I get a queen. There we go, and they've resigned. <sighs> well, that was a nice exercise. And the, the exercise was about how did I end up in these positions? The early part of the exercise, I, I was in some, I don't think, very nice positions. There were shocking positions. But as you warm up, because um, these were the first games I started playing, so as you warm up, you, you start getting into, into the groove. Um, and you get to the level of where you start feeling comfortable um, flowing with the game. 
But the main idea really is not to get flustered if you're in a bad position. Keep trying to fight out of it as best possible. That is how, that's chess. That's the real art of chess. The real art of chess isn't looking at other people's games. And I, don't, I, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but it really isn't about looking at other people's games, looking at the history of it all. If that's your bag and you want to be his, an historian and you're not really interested in developing your game, then that's fine. But for if you are wanting to develop your game, definitely just make it your game. And the only way you can do that is actually practicing and playing the game. 